James, obviously Julian Alvarez's future is uncertain as well at Manchester City. Why would he want to leave the club? One thing that Pep Guardiola has pointed out is that Alvarez wants to be involved in the biggest games. He wants to be playing in the biggest games. And I think when you look at what happened last season, he started every Premier League game up until February. But in the back end of the season, when City were chasing titles and trophies, he wasn't involved in the crucial matches. An unused substitute against Arsenal in that league match that finished 0-0. He didn't start in the FA Cup final against Manchester United. And he didn't start against Real Madrid in the Champions League knockout matches. And Guardiola said it's effectively up to Alvarez if he wants to stay or not. And he'll wait to see what Alvarez has to say. The complication is that Alvarez has had such a long season, which is almost extending into a second season now because he's at the Olympics with Argentina. And the final of that, if Argentina reach the final, is next Friday. And the Premier League season gets underway the following Friday. So there is uncertainty around somebody who I think despite missing out on those big games, is still a key player for Manchester City. So it's interesting, interesting a, a very young player. We've seen what he's done for Manchester City, a very decorated player as well. But I, th I think it would be a mistake for him to leave Manchester City because they are really onto a good thing. And I don't think, unless you're Erling Haaland, you can be demanding to start every single match, especially with the competition for place they've got in that area of the pitch. Yeah. Dan, do you see him going to any other Premier League club? It's an interesting question, isn't it? Because I think... <laughs> Perhaps no, only because maybe Manchester City and Pep Guardiola have learned from maybe recent windows, having sold Alexander Zinchenko, Gabriel Jesus to Arsenal, then we, we all know what happened. You know, in the last few years, Arsenal have now become their closest title challenger. So I think Manchester City won't be looking to sell Alvarez if they do it all this summer uh, to a Premier League rival because they've seen that in recent years and it hasn't maybe, even though with all the best will of the world, they want to respect their players' wishes, it hasn't maybe benefited them long term. So I think we know Atletico Madrid are one team circling around Alvarez. So we'll have to see. As Guardiola mentioned, we'll see after the Olympics. Uh, Quaker, you mentioned it a little bit earlier about, about Arsenal being so aggressive in this transfer window. You know, we're talking about Alvarez and KDB potentially both going, both very important players for City. What about incomings? Do you think Guardiola is going to be relying on the players he's got or are they going to dip into the transfer market and be aggressive in that sense? I think you can juxtapose Arsenal and Man City in this transfer window. Arsenal have been very aggressive and City have been probably the most passive we've seen them in the last couple of seasons. I think incomings will be dependent on outgoings because they've built and they've stockpiled such an impressive squad that they can rely on other players if players like Alvarez or Edison were to leave. I think it is very much dependent on if, if those players do leave, will Pep Guardiola go into the market again and try and bring in replacements? But if you look at the City squad, it's so impressive. Players like Jack Grealish struggle for minutes in this team. He's a £100 million man who'd start for most other teams in the Premier League. Um, and so this is a very, very strong City team, but it's a City team that's almost aged overnight. If you look at important positions, obviously Edison's future's up in the air, Carl Walker's now aging, Kevin De Bruyne is aging, and Pep Guardiola's future's not certain either. Normally, he'd have the guarantee of, I'm going to be your coach for the next two or three seasons. You don't have that anymore because he's got one year left on his contract. So that will affect transfers as well. So I think we'll see a more passive city in this transfer window. But if some of these big names do leave the club, then expect them to go again in the transfer window. Yeah.